A local family is opening their lawn this weekend for the third annual musical event to raise money for a rare genetic disorder known as Hermansky Pudlak syndrome. They call it Shermer stock. That's the event coming up this weekend to raise money for a cause that is certainly personal to this family. Bethany Walter and her dad Mike Shermer are here to tell us more about Shermer stock and the reason behind it. Uh, Bethany and Mike, good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to talk first about what is fueling this event, the third annual Shermer stock. We'll tell you more coming up. Your son, who is William, has Hermansky Pudlak syndrome. Yes. A lot of folks I'm sure haven't heard about this. It's very rare. Tell us about it. Yeah. Um, so Will was diagnosed in 2020 with HPS, that's kind of what we call it, and um, members of the community that have HPS have albinism, and so they tend to have a lack of pigment in their hair, skin, and eyes. Um, because of that, they tend to have visual impairments, so a lot of our friends with HPS are legally blind. And um, another symptom of HPS is a bleeding disorder. Okay. So people like Will um, struggle to stop bleeding when um, an incident occurs. And so that's obviously can be life threatening if something scary were to happen. Um, a lot of people with HPS have colitis, mm -hmm. which in combined with the um, bleeding disorder is also potentially life threatening. And the, the part that we're really most um, afraid of and really trying to prevent happening is that as an adult, the type of HPS that Will has um, will develop pulmonary fibrosis, so severe scarring in the lungs. Sure and um, they will need a double lung transplant um, in his 30s sure. if, if the disease continues to progress. Okay, and there's a national organization that helps for folks who are dealing with this, uh, this condition. And Mike, that's where Shermer stock comes in because you're gonna do this now for the third year, trying to raise money for that national organization. Tell me about it. Yeah, it, it started out as actually a bunch of me and some of my guitar buddies thinking we'd just get, get together and play some music. Yeah. And uh, it kind of, after we got Will's uh, diagnosis, we uh, decided, hey, let's do something to raise money for the national event. Yeah. And um, we did that. And as you said, this uh, on September 7th, a week from this Saturday, is our, our uh, third annual one. And uh, we have had great support. It's grown each year. We, people pull into the parking lot and... And the parking lot is our pasture, you're, you're, by the your, way. It's your house. Yeah, yeah. it's our house. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we get them parked. There's a food truck. We uh, have live music. We are fortunate that, enough to have the Steve Kyle Band anchoring for us this year. Okay. And uh, But it all started as a uh, just kind of a whim that, hey, let's do something. As Beth would say, it's trying to take some power back when you feel powerless. Yeah. And this is the third annual, but last year you raised $16,000 yes. to present to that national organization. Yes. You may go above that this year. That is our hope. Yeah. We are hoping to uh, do better, at least raise one more dollar than we did last year. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, we're excited. The, the uh, musicians, uh, Bristol Carr is a young Washburn Rural High School student. She is phenomenal. And everybody said, the thing you got to do is get Bristol back again this year. And yeah. we got her back. That's good. That's yeah. good. And I asked you off the air yeah. how your son is doing. Will, as you said, William, Will, yeah. uh, he's four and a half. Tell me how he he's is. doing. He is. He's four and a half. And he, you would never know to look at him that he is different from anyone else. Um, he does not let him hold him, him back. We try to put our fears aside and let him do whatever he wishes as well. Um, so we're really optimistic that with the help of the HPS Network, the national organization, that we're gonna find a cure before some of the scarier elements kind of kick in. And how amazing that you're dealing with this and also now trying to help others and raise money. It, it's Shermer stock. Let me give our viewers the information. It's coming up. It's a fundraiser for, again, the Hermansky Pudlak Syndrome Foundation. You can Google that and learn more about that if you'd like. It's Saturday, September 7th, so a week from this Saturday, 8001 Southwest Huntoon in Topeka. The gates there on the Shermer property are going to open at 2 o'clock. The music will start at 3 p.m. They're going to have, again, a food truck out there, that live music and a lot of fun. And they're raising money uh, for Hermansky Pudlak Syndrome, the National Foundation. Uh, Bethany and Mike, thanks for coming in and thanks for educating us about this. And I hope you raise many more dollars than you did last year. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you and good luck to you both. Thank you.